Today, we are going to talk about our reverse ROI calculator. This is a tool we use to quickly frame and evaluate potential automation opportunities for your business. By the time we are done discussing the tool, you will be able to budget your automation projects based on your needs. When most people talk about return on investment or ROI, they're talking about how long it takes to repay the cost of an investment and graduate to pure profit. Our reverse ROI approach is going to show you how to calculate current state and future growth needs simultaneously by measuring current labor and increased cash flow against your target years to ROI to determine a realistic automation budget. Since custom automated machines can easily cost six or seven figures, scoping projects based on your business needs must remain the priority as that is how you use automation to grow your business. Once you know this information, you'll be able to have a candid conversation with your potential integrators. Now that we know why it is important to utilize the reverse ROI calculator, let's teach you how to use the reverse ROI calculator. So we can work together. Please open a copy of the reverse ROI calculator, which you can find in the description below. Now that you have opened the calculator, it's good to note that many of the cells do not require input. The first cell to fill in is the target years to ROI. For projects that have limited engineering risk, like a machine tending system or palletizing robot, you might want to target two years. For a semi-custom packaging system or the integration of many off-the-shelf pieces of automation equipment, you might want to consider two to three years. For higher risk investments that might be assembling your product or processing something that is unique to your business, we recommend on planning on three to five years for an ROI. For today's activity, I'm going to use three years since that tends to be a common number for high value projects that Develop has helped our customers scope. Next, we get into estimating the potential savings. We're going to compare a typical manual process to the value of an automated process. Our example manual process represented by the left column has one eight hour shift and needs four employees on that shift. In this example, each employee costs your company $55,000 a year. To have an accurate budget, this value should represent the cost of your team member, meaning that you account for the hourly rate, insurance, retirement, profit sharing, and any other compensation structures your organization offers. Cutting this number short might also cut your potential upside short. For this four worker manual process, we are looking at an annual $220,000 opportunity. The future automated state represented by the right column, we commonly see a 10 to 20% of the original labor being utilized to operate the equipment. For this example, we are using 10%. The annual labor displacement value is calculated by subtracting the automated process cost from the manual cost. Now that we have the labor savings figured out, we get to the additional profit and risk mitigation category. I will cover the three common areas that our customers identify. First is the cost associated with scrap materials. Second is human risk. Common examples we see are reduction in training costs and risks of injury. Both are difficult to quantify until you have felt the pain. So evaluate them in terms of lost revenue or workers' compensation costs. My personal favorite is growth via an opportunity to increase sales and the additional value created by the displaced labor of automation. For the purposes of this example, we're going to add $100,000 to this category. The calculator has now revealed how much your machine changes the amount of usable cash available to your company each year. If you integrate a machine based on this budget, this example value is $298,000 in annual profit. The machine budget has been calculated by multiplying the potential annual profit by the number of years to get an ROI. The example recommended budget for the potential automated process shows that we should be willing to spend up to $894,000. Now that we have a machine budget, we need to cover the next steps and decisions you should be taking. First, you should draft an SOW or requirement list for your machine based on the details from this calculator and the process you want to automate. Second, send this SOW and requirements list out for quote. We also recommend sharing this calculator so the integrators you're working with scope the machine based on the highest value solution for your needs. In case you did not have a project or opportunity in mind, I would recommend checking out our automation assessment ebook right here. This book covers how to find and evaluate your automation opportunities on your manufacturing floor so you can grow your business. If you still have questions or want professional advice, please do not hesitate to contact us for a free 30 minute virtual discussion. Thanks for watching the reverse ROI calculator video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.